Hey there, Merida Cave Diver here, and as you can probably tell, I am not in Merida right now. I'm actually in Texas in my home office, and Orca Torch has graciously sent me this SDO3 Cave Beacon Light to test. So today I'm going to do the unboxing, and then I'm going to fly to Mexico and test this light for you. So let's see what's in here. All right, we have a lanyard for the light. We have the light itself. We have a couple O-rings. We have a user manual and we have the warranty card. Something that you should really note about this box, it's packed extremely well. However, at the very, very bottom, what you need to do is you need to thoroughly check it because the lanyard is going to be put in at the bottom and there's gonna be the O-rings and I think those can be easily missed. So without further ado, Let's fly to Mexico and get this thing tested. Okay, so what do I think about the SDO3? Well, I really wanted to like this light and I do like this light, but I like it from an open water diver's perspective or a shallow reef dive or night dive perspective. And I'll share with you why. If you're a true cave diver, you subscribe to the principle of keeping everything simple. And while this is a great light, I don't think it provides a unique value that your primary torch can't provide. Uh, it's great for identification, and I did really, really enjoy being able to look to my left or right and, and completely in the dark and see and identify the diver that I'm with. However, I could also do it with a little bit of extra effort swimming. I could signal them with my torch. So with the risk of having this hanging off your uh, BCD, I don't know if I would recommend it for cave diving. For reef diving and uh, diver identification, absolutely. I think it's a phenomenal little light and I like it a lot. What would change my mind? Well, if this was significantly brighter and positively buoyant, as in floating like this, then I could see it being used as a phenomenal cave beacon. For example, you attach it to the main line and maybe you want to swim off the main line a little bit to check to see if there's any caves that you haven't explored before and you could have a very bright pulsing beacon. We currently do that right now with some of our uh, main torches and it works very, very well. I'm not advocating that you go off the main line and I'm not advocating that you take any unnecessary risks. However, I really like the identification factor, but I just don't think it's worth the extra potential of getting snagged. Um, I really wanted to like this light for cave diving. And I want to be very clear here. It's a great light. I think it's, I think it's phenomenal. It's built really well. It's very simple to use. The battery life is excellent. But for technical cave diving, I just don't see uh, a true purpose in it other than uh, diver identification. Hope this helps. Thanks.